Hey, it's around here. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send invoices to people that have bought something from you on System.io. So let me share my screen and show you first what are the type of invoices that gets generated and what it looks like when it's actually set up correctly. So I did a test purchase and you can see that I got these two invoices and also I got this one. So this one and this one came directly from Stripe. And just to give you context, uh, Better World is the name of my company. Uh, in Dubai, and that's why you see it in that name. Now, what happens is that these two are generated from Stripe. So you set it up through Stripe. This invoice comes from system. Now, the way I did the purchase is I actually did a test purchase and I got the order bump at the same time. So when you see here, you're going to get an invoice for each individual purchase. So every upsell, every downsell, every purchase gets its own invoice generated. So here's an example. This was the order bump. Okay. Beginner's guide to email marketing and a course. And then this was another test purchase, which was just a demo dummy purchase with a coupon code. You could see that I just made a dummy name live stream because I actually live streamed me doing this whole test purchase as well. Somewhere around here, you'll see I basically set up an entire funnel live on YouTube and streamed the entire thing. Uh, so that's why it's called live stream. Now to get this particular invoice generated, this is what it looks like. And unfortunately, you cannot customize any of this. You simply get hello first name, last name. Thank you for your purchase. Here's the receipt, best regards, and then your name. That's how it is. You get the PDF and all of that. Now, in order to make sure that people get it, I'm going to show you where to set that up. So in System.io, if you hover over your profile, click on settings, you will see the settings section. And if you scroll all the way down to notifications, you're going to see these options. So you can turn these on or turn these off as you see fit. So this one, if you want to make you want to get a notification when you sold something as an affiliate, you keep it checked in. When you receive somebody who leaves a comment in a community or a course, you leave this in. I personally like to know. Now, here is where you can tell people or tell system, don't send an invoice. So if you don't want to send an invoice to a customer when they purchase as an individual or as a company, you would tick these accordingly. So individual, tick this. As a company, tick this. So this will make it so people don't get a invoice. Now I do want to get an invoice. I'm going to leave those unchecked. Now, how does system know if somebody bought something as an individual or a company? So I'm going to show you this is done under the order form when somebody makes a purchase. So now I am in the editor of the order form and you're going to see here the name, the email, all these details that they can fill in. And then there is this element called customer type. So if I'm going to drag it right here, and put it right under, somebody can now choose basically if they are an individual or a company. Now this matters for the invoice purposes. So if somebody takes in their company, then that information, depending on the notification you turn on or off, they may or may not get an invoice. The last thing I want to show you is Stripe. So in Stripe, you basically want to hover over here and click on settings and then go to subscriptions and emails. Now, there's a whole bunch of information here. I'm not going to get into it right now. But basically, if you scroll all the way down, you're going to see manage invoices sent to customers. And here you can customize customer emails and you will un uh, make this so it's checked. Send finalized invoices and credit notes to customers. And this is how you're going to get that effect that you saw with the invoice that I got directly from Stripe as well as System IO. So that's how that works. And there is a lot more to do with setting up Stripe in all that stuff. I have a complete workshop on setting up Stripe from A to Z, which is available as a bonus when people join my membership. So if you want to learn a little bit more about that, there's going to be a link below for you to learn about my membership. If you go to a run.link forward slash DCT, DCT stands for dotcom truths. The workshop of Stripe is just one of the many, many things that I offer in the membership. And there's just a lot more to go into here. But for the purposes of this tutorial of the invoice, this is where you would set that up. The last thing I should mention is that if you were to turn off the invoices from the system IO end and have the Stripe one turned on, then if somebody makes a payment through PayPal, they will not get an invoice. So I do recommend you keep the system IO invoices live and don't uncheck it. And in the Stripe, that's optional. That's up to you. I basically have it turned on just by choice, uh, but each person is different. However, you want to do it in terms of the laws in your countries, what people request, things along these lines. But hopefully this video was helpful to you with regards to the invoicing. If you have any additional questions for me, please leave a comment below. I'm interested to hear from you. 
And uh, that's about it. Please do subscribe and also like this video. Leave a comment with the word value if this was helpful to you. And if you want to learn more about my membership, go and check it out around.link forward slash DCT, where I share everything I know about starting and growing a business online and supporting you with the tech stuff as well. Thanks all for watching. Really appreciate you. And I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.